Vuletsani Ramolifo lashing out moments after he was sentenced to life in prison for waging a campaign of terror against the woman who got into his taxi needing a ride home or to work. He and an unknown accomplice kidnapped the woman and then raped, robbed and tortured them. The way they kept on telling me that they were taking me to Zimbabwe, I'll never see my family again and they were going to cut my head off. And the way they, I can't remember how many times they tried to stab me. The first day it happened to me, I blamed myself. I thought it was my fault. Acting judge Naren Pandya said the trauma suffered by Ramalifo's victims far outweighed his pleas for mercy. They could not speak, they could not testify because the sight of the accused made them to cry and they cried terribly. In an impassioned address during his sentencing of Ramalifo, the judge asked the taxi driver how he would feel if his wife, his mother or his sister was raped. One of Ramolifa's victims died before she could see justice served, but her mother was in court. I'm going to go to, to, to her graveside and tell her that justice was done and she must rest in peace. Karen Morn, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.